Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up, everybody? Charles Macro here, back again, jumping in the fishing planet. Hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to you and yours. Prayers up. Peace and blessings to you and your loved ones, man. Hope you had a great week so far. We about midway through it, but we still doing it, man. Hey, what's good? What's going on, man? Thank you to everybody who is stopping through the stream, man, to hang out with me, all my peoples, my elite fam, man. Hope y'all are doing well. If you're watching this later, you're watching the replay, thank you as well, man. Everybody still comes and watches it even when they aren't able to be here, man. So I always, always, always appreciate that, man. Thank y'all. Let me get my camera adjusted right. I ain't getting that right. My sound is good. Hope everybody can hear me well. What's up, Sleep? What's up, Tobe? What's up, Evil? Hey, what's up, GBX? Shout out to Gerald. What's up, Dent? What's going on? What's going on, man? Hope everybody is doing well, man. So, yeah, man, we jumping in it today, man. I'm going to just do a little casual fishing. I wanted to try a few things, man. Um, As you, you, you live and learn and, and you do new things, man, I've been fishing a lot. I've had fish brain quite a bit, guys. And I've been doing a lot of fishing and uh, IRL fishing, trying to get my technique down. I like I like the spin, you know, and and um, really been trying to get that down. Me and my nephew, man, we go fishing quite a bit, testing out lures and things like that. So um, because of what I've learned so far as I've been getting back into it, and if you don't know, uh, people ask sometimes, do I fish? I fish, but I used to fish with my grandpa. And so we used to, you know, really just throw the worm out there on the hook, catch pan fish and things of that nature growing up. And he's since passed away. You know, shout out to my grandfather, man. Love him, miss him. And so um, I've been really getting back out there trying to really learn more techniques. You know, maybe I get in a tournament one day or something, a little local joint. So um, one of the things I was really using, I have a pond not too far from my house. It's, it's a, you know, small little pond. It got bass in it. Had other uh, fish in it as well and um i've really been testing out top water lure cranks um and senkos senkos is like a you know like a go-to and so really really been killing it yeah shout out to toby man uh toby was in the area and we we, we went to this spot and it's a spot um i'm in north carolina and so i uh, found this really big waterway it's, it, it used to be a plantation now it's called a preserve and um, they got so many spots that you can fish. It was the first time going there. I since went back and really been discovering a lot of the places where you can um fish at this at this preserve. Man, it's huge, huge. It's a river. Uh, it runs with the Catawba River and uh, Lake Norman. We got a big lake uh, that's not too far from where I'm at as well. So I've been really doing most of my testing in the pond. Me and my nephew really get good bass. In fact, I, I got some pictures, man. I'm gonna show y'all. If you're in the Discord, you can see a lot of this in the Discord, man. Shout out to everybody that comes through posts in the Discord. What's up, LDB? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, appreciate you stopping through, man. It's all good. Glad that you made it, man. Glad that you're here. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing a lot of IRL fishing. And one day, man, y'all let me know chats or comments on videos if you're watching this later, man. I, I really may do an IRL. I might throw up a few videos. I'm going to probably give me one of them chest harnesses put my camera in it or get a GoPro or something. And you know, again, I'm I'm still I'm still getting the technique down. But I I the same way y'all help me, I know I got a lot of anglers here that fish in real life. Same way we share tips on the game. You know, we can do the real life thing too, man. And I hope one day we can all get up and fish, you know, find some spots, man. Uh but in my Discord, let me let me pull up my Discord real quick, man. It said if you if you ever join or whatever, this that place it's the, the preserve, man. It's real beautiful. It's huge. That's some of the pan fish, man. But I've been, you know, catching bass like crazy, man, getting my technique down and whatnot. And uh, like I say, me and my nephew was catching them on the fourth and all of that, man. So, yeah, if you want to come to Discord, drop some of your, your catches. If you fish in real life, man, definitely come through, man, and hang out, man, and we can we can do that, you know, and show off what you catch, man. I know y'all all over the world, so y'all catch a lot of varieties of fish. Um, but I've really been practicing on the bass. So that's one of the things I wanted to do as well in this episode, man. I wanted to try out some of the – um, I wanted to – well, okay, what I realized is that the worms that are in the shop are Senkos. When I was looking at the lures, I didn't realize that because I really didn't know much about them to that degree. 
But I have learned that uh, if you go to your lures and you hit up your worms, you know, these are like the stick worms, they call them, uh, the Senkos, the trick worms, uh, depending on what brand. And like what I've been using, going crazy with is like the watermelon, the pumpkin colors. So when I was using worms, I still was associating them with like night crawlers and things of that nature. And I've been Texas rigging it. I used to wacky rig. Wacky rig was what I started on. But Texas rigging them is like that thing. I'm loving the Texas rig. It's weedless. You pull it, I can throw it in and brush around trees. It doesn't get hung up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Um, let's see, Toby say, have fun fishing. Yeah, man. I, I agree. Uh, yeah, okay, for sure. Watch the real thing. Um, it's just so big, man. I have to show you there are other areas. I'm going to get some pictures and some video, man. I post them in the Discord, man, and show you that spot. It's huge. It's huge. I'm going to probably get me some boots so I can wade out in the water because it's real shallow for about 10 feet. Okay, Evil, that's what's up. Yeah, I'm going to do some of that, man. I'm, I'm really, really, I'm, I know I'm going to do it. It's just getting everything together, man. Okay, Toby said the rattlesnake worm is the best in the game. That's what's up. I'm going to have to try that out, too. Try that out, too. That rattlesnake one, was that that yellow one? I got to look at the color. So what I'm going to do today, I was going to start at Lone Star and maybe just do, like, the southern, some of these southern lakes. Bass is pretty much everywhere in the game. But I'm going to start in the Heron, North Carolina again. That's where I'm at. So we're going to start with the Heron. I'm going to go in and buy that license. I'm going to show you all what I'm using. So I'm bring. I'm only gonna use two setups here. I got all my other big boy setups. Y'all know we we almost. I'm mean, gonna call it end game. You never fully an end game efficient planner, but I'm at a high level at this point. So I got big boy uh, big boy setups. I went back, pulled out my Aurora eight two. It's a three to ten pound setup. On it, I got the Prima thirty five hundred, uh nine nine. You know, ten pound basically. But I'm Texas rigging it. Okay, they got Carolina rig on here too. Uh, Texas rig is what I've been using in real life. So I want to see on the game if this Texas rig hits the way it hits in real life with these worms, man. So that's what we're going to try out. Y'all let me know if y'all have used this, if you got any tips. If the worms don't work well, I'm going to try something else. I might do <clears throat> some, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll throw something else on there, some of our other jig type baits and see what works or even go to the shop. But I'm going to start with these worms, try a few different colors. And see if they work the way they have been working in real life. All right. So again, set this up with the Aurora, the Prima, Texas rig, got the little bullet sinker. Oh, the other thing I've been doing in real life is doing weightless uh, because these worms go so far when you cast. I almost don't need a weight. That way you can have a little bit more flexibility with your um, presentation. And then you got to use, I think you have to use offset hooks with the Texas rig, at least for now. Real life, you can use whatever you want, but you still mainly would use a hook like that. So I'm using a two-aught hook. The other setup I'm using, um, I brought, I'm bringing a feeder, and we're going to run um, some small minnows because I actually did some lake fishing using minnows. I uh, got my Big Ali. Uh, this is a 6 to 19. I tried to use what I already had, so I didn't have to go buy some, but I did buy a few things if I needed it, like line. Uh, the Big River 6500, it's a 19-pound setup. Um, or 19 pound reel. I had some fluoro. It's 28. You can go a little heavier than you're supposed to technically with your line. You can overweight the line if you want. Just don't go too crazy. Um, I already had this open feeder. I'm not putting anything in it. Maybe I should, but I'm just going with the open feeder because I had it. it was three and a half pounds. The weight was good. Titanium leader. You don't really need a leader. This this light, but I'm throwing it on there anyway. Got a one out hook, barbless. And we're going to do it like that, man. We're going to do it like that, all right? So I'm going to go in and hit the Naharan. If you are here, come on through. If you're on PC, I'm on Steam. And we're going to fish a little bit, man. Sleek, say you're going to start playing on PC and start your journey with Fishing Planet. Nice, nice. Hey, now again, we on Fishing Planet, but y'all know I did a video on that new game that's going to come out. I can't wait for that because four people can get in a boat together, guys. Hey, what's up? Shout out to Werewolf, man. Werewolf is an OG fisherman, man. As I was coming up, he taught me a lot, uh, showing spots, especially when I went to the Amazon, man. Shout out to Werewolf. I might jump in his room. You know what? I'm, well, I'm going to do a friends-only room. Uh, that way y'all can come through if you are in here, man. Wolf. Hey, what's up, Wolf Boy? Shout out to Wolf Boy. 
oh man, I don't know where this put me. This is not where I was planning to go. What's going on, Wolf? How you doing, man? Uh, let me see. I didn't mean to jump there. We're going to jump by the... We jumping in that great parking job by this little abandoned wreck. All right, here we go. I'm going to look at my markers real quick just to see what we got going on, going on. See flatheads, that, that, that leprechaun. I was marking all them leprechaun fish. All right, large mouth over there. Ooh, crappy. Hey, crappy is another one. After I master bass, I'm going to really start going at the crappie. Uh, one, because they're good to eat if you got a good, fresh uh, uh, waterway. And two, because that's just another one that people really, really go hard with. Okay, I caught this one on the worm. It just wasn't a Texas rig. I'm pretty sure of that at that time. All right, we got the small mouth here too. So, yeah, we going for this. I actually may go back over here. This was to the left. Let's run over here real quick. See if we can pull some of these in. Yeah, that's pretty much where we were at. Wolf say, have I tried the 4th of July? Um, I went. Hey, what's up, truck? What's going on? What's going on, man? How goes it? Not really because uh, I didn't do the 4th of July stuff too too heavy because you got to use a lot of bait coins. And even though I got a lot of bait coins, I ain't want to use it. So I'm just waiting to something come back around that's less, less bait coin intense. All right, all right, all right. Let me check my... Okay, we not in peak. It really shouldn't matter at this lake. You should still be able to catch bass, especially early in the morning. I'm going to do a few casts. If we don't catch nothing, I'll uh, I'll go back. We're going to throw by these structures and see what we get with this Texas rig. I'm going to bring my speed down. We're going to go to two. I'm going to let it hit the bottom, and I'm going to basically stop and go. Again, I'm going to just try some things I've been doing in real life and see how it works. Toby say, buy the revolutionary pack, best lures in the game. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Evil say, you was wondering the same. You started but not keeping up. Okay. Hey, Joe, what's up? Shout out to Drive-By Joe. Still being an elite member. 12 months, Joe. Hey, thank you, man. Joe been down, been an elite member for a year, man. Really appreciate that, Joe. Much love to the fam. Uh, let's see. Finally using Texas rigs truck. Yeah, man. I've been using Texas rigs in real life. If you just jumping in, i show the pictures again in my Discord. You part of Discord. I made an in real life channel, man. I've been really, really Texas rigging and um, working these sinkos, working these worms. So I said, let me see how much this applies in the game. And as I said, I didn't realize that these uh, plastic worms were really you know, the trick worm, the Cinco worm, whatever you want to call it. I didn't realize that that's what those were. So um, I said, let me let me see how well this applies in the real game. Hey, appreciate that, Joe. Again, shout out to Joe. $5 on that super chat, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Good looking. Hey, what's up, Juanico? What's going on? J-Dub. Yeah, man, this Texas rig has been lovely. I can throw in the brush and that weedless. It don't get hooked. I um I don't even use, and I may do that on the game. I want to really want to see if it works if you uh take the weight off. I want to do a weightless. Um, because at least in the pines, you know the pines, you probably do need to wait a little more. Let me go on to the peak. I'm gonna move to the peak. Um, you probably do need to wait in the pines a little more. Hey, what's up, Wolf? How Wolf got the uh, 4th of July joint going on? I got some of that, though, from last year. Some of these fireworks. I have some from last year. Hey, shout out to everybody for the 4th, man. Hope you had a good holiday. We looking at the fireworks. I need to use them fireworks. I got some. I got them in my home inventory from last year from one of the events. I never really used them, man. We was launching them fireworks. Devin, what's good? What's good? Welcome to the stream. Wolf say, uh, you're probably not going to be here long. Another streamer's live. Hey, that's cool, man. You know, I appreciate you stopping through. And shout out to Joe, man. Appreciate that. Hey, we setting off fireworks, baby. Hey, hey. Uh, click on Jay to take out the fireworks. 
<laughs> All right, there we go. Man, I be hitting J by mistake all the time. <laughs> I'm going to set off some fireworks for y'all, man. I never use these. I've been holding on to them. Let's go on and set off some fireworks. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> My fireworks ain't do much. Can I, can I set this off some more? That was it. That's like them fireworks you you buy at the uh, in the parking lot. That ain't them real deals. In North Carolina, they don't sell the real fireworks. We got to go to South Carolina, but I live right next to South Carolina, so it don't take long. When I was growing up, we used to go, I know we would drive down to the border to buy fireworks because, again, they, like, illegal. They got them, them the ones that don't really do much. The big boy joints are illegal. Um, but the ones like sparklers and the joints that don't really pop too much, they're legal here. So, again, we would go as a kid, and even now we go to South Carolina and uh, pick up fireworks and then set them off on the 4th. The thing is, even though they technically illegal on holidays like the 4th and New Year's, you know, they don't they don't mess with nobody. They know everybody going to set them off and they going to be shooting, you know, so – the police kind of turn a blind eye to it. It's like not a big deal. You know what I mean? Why harass people over some fireworks, you know? But mainly for the holidays. You set them off nine holiday periods, you might have a little more trouble. All right, guys. So as I said, and if you've seen the thumbnail, um, I be having to, to post my thumbnail after I start the stream because for whatever reason, when I schedule it, it never triggers the right one. I'm only using a Texas rig because in real life, I've been fishing. Texas rig has been crazy. So I got my Texas rig. I got a light setup, only like a 10 pound setup. And then I got a 20 pound uh, feeder. So we're going to throw both of these out and just, we're going to catch some bass. We're going to kick back and do our thing with some of these bass. See how many we can pull in while we here. e -Bill say, don't incriminate. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, no, I, I only buy the grocery store ones. I, I don't go get those other ones, man. That's just what people do, not me. Ha, ha, ha. I don't buy those. Uh, let's see. Get better. What's up? What's up? Say you did Redneck Style this year for fireworks and shotguns. Yeah, man. Hey, like I say, we down here. We, we, we in the country, even though we in the city. It's country, man, so that's how everybody do. You're going to hear gunshots and fireworks all night long. Toby, yeah, man, we got Baker Mayfield, man. I don't know how I feel about that, but, I mean, anything is better than, um, anything is better than old boy. Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name now. I was talking about him earlier, Aaron Donald. No, not Aaron Donald. He, he a beast. <laughs> anything is better than uh Sam Darnold. <laughs> my bad man I ain't, I ain't even to miss this old boy uh, yeah man he gotta be better again I don't care for him like that but he gotta be better than old boy so yeah man how was y'all holiday man how was everybody's holiday did you do anything particular And the worm ain't doing much. I might have to try another color. Or I'm gonna have to go back over there by the uh by the abandoned truck. By the little broke down. We testing the Texas rig, by the way. If you're just jumping in, I'm seeing how well the Texas rig works on a light setup for these bass. With a Senko like in real life. Some stuff they have very accurate as it pertains to real life. And then something they hey, there you go. Wolf got him one. All right, all right. So my feeder is going off. My feet is going off. Let me turn this up. Oh. Yeah, this is very heavy for these bass. I might have to target catfish or something just so it's a little more of a fight. 
Wolf say he gonna use the Texas rig too. All right, Wolf. Come right here through this, uh, through these trees in the water. See, same for Coates. Uh, y'all swap Ryan for Wentz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Not sure how that's really going to look, you know. But, hey. It's something. It seems to be, a, it's, it's, of course, a little better. Not my top choice. But, you know. I got a pull for him. He he I Q V now. So I know how you feel. Let me throw away out here. I'm going to sit this down real quick. I'm going to look at my map one more time because I know this where Bass at. Yeah. Okay, that's crappy. Large map straight ahead. Ah, you getting a walleye? Oh, you must be at uh, Emerald Lake. I am not having much luck with this Texas rig. Let me try real speed three. We're going to use a real speed, see if it's a little better. Uh, let's see, use a four art hook. They work better and get bigger fish. All right, I tried it. Actually, I don't know if I have a four odd offset though. I think I got a six. I don't think I have a four. Okay. Hey, I done been there. I have been there. I'm gonna check the shop, see if they have. Nah, they don't. They got the one. I have one at home. I'm going to see if this makes a difference. I'm going to take this bullet off and do it weightless. Oh, they won't even let the setup. Ah, that delegitimizes the setup without the uh without the sinker. Oh well. Okay. They won't even let you throw it like that. See if I can hit this wall over here. Uh, let's see. You also use the uh, IRL, caught a 10-pound, woo, with a Texas rig and a red shad, 7-inch worm. Nice. A red shad and a 7-inch worm? A red shad, 7-inch worm. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, man. Like, this Texas rig has been really, really good for me. Uh, on the fourth, I caught multiples. I went back to the pine for fireworks and caught another one. Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. Is it going to stay? Ah, they let it run on me. And um, I've been testing out the Whopper Plopper. I don't know if y'all heard about the Whopper Ploppers. I got a clear one I've been trying, but I ain't caught nothing on it yet. Hey, what's up, Delta? Shout out to Delta. What's going on, man? How's the channel, man? You been on some streams? You been dropping vids, man? What's up with you? We might have to move to the other spot, man. Like I said, we testing worms, man. Let's see, you say you don't really fish pines, you fish big tourneys, nice. I'm practicing in the pond. Hey, there we go. There we go. We This is our first good hit off this worm. Come on in. Come on in. 
This is a light setup. So we'll get some good fights out of this. Yeah, I'm I'm working on getting to the big tourneys. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the big tourneys, man. So I'm practicing in the pine, man. Got a local pine that it ain't too far. Uh I can go fish at a little neighborhood joint. Oh, he giving us some fight. He giving us some fight. How you be faring in the tournaments, man? What type of tournaments you be in? Hey, Delta, yeah, man. Hey, the fourth was good, man. The fourth was good. Spent some time with family, fished, caught some bass. It was real good. I'm going to show y'all some of my catches real quick, man, my IRLs. And again, I was saying earlier, man, because I've been really, really getting into to fishing. I've been fishing, but because I've been really trying to learn, like, techniques and get spinning down. My nephew got a, a bait caster. He got that down, man. My nephew been killing it. Um, I'm going to probably get me, like, a little chest harness or something. And uh, either one for my camera or get, like, a GoPro or something, man. So, again, if y'all want to see some of that, let me know. Drop it in the comments if, you, if you're if watching this later on. There it is. Hey, got us a trophy. Nice, nice, nice. Let me go on and hold up this trophy. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Bam. Uh, let's see what's the water looking like. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's looking good. It's looking good. <laughs> uh, Devin say, problem is you don't know where to go after. Oh, mm. it depends on what you want to do, man, and what level you are. Let me know what level you are, Devin. We can figure out some good lakes for you to hit when you leave there. Uh, we'll say when I'm a stream, Solange. I haven't even been there yet, man. I got to go and test it out. Um, So that'll be coming up soon, probably in the next week or so. I got to go test it, but, you know, I got so I can know where some of the spot, spots are. Although we can do it on stream, you know, you know how we do. But I wanted to uh, get familiar with it uh, before I bring it. But, hey, who knows, man? We might go ahead and do it anyway. But we working the worm, guys. So you fish nothing but bass, okay? Uh, even say you got through all the challenges at Rocky and Falcon on the moose. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, the pond I fish in, it it has, by the spillway, it has a few structures, like some trees in it um, that are good. Oh, there we go. There we go. The worm's working now. Oh, oh, he a little one. He a little one. Yeah, it does have some decent structures. It's one little hot spot. Um, and, of course, it got the fountain in the middle. But the fountain is broken, so the mud are, the water is getting kind of dark. It's getting kind of muddy. They need to fix it um, so that it can regulate better. So right now it's only bass and like sunfish. I think they used to have a, maybe another type or two in there. But right now that's the only thing that's really going on with it. So here, I'm going to show you real quick. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me pull up my Discord. When you come through the Discord, you want to share some of your catches. So that's, the, that's how the pine look right there. It's usually a little clearer than that. But um, because they need to fix that pine, it's getting a little mucky. But they still in there. Yeah, that's one, about three or four. I had about five hits, but some of them got away on the four. But, yeah, I was I was catching them like crazy, man. And I said we got this uh, preserve spot. It's huge. It's huge. I caught a little sunfish out there trying to get the bass and the catfish. But yeah, man, come through, drop some of y'all picks, man. If you if you got some uh, IRL catches, man, you want to come show them off, definitely come through. Uh, I threw it a little too far. Hey, Wolf, I'm starting to get some hits with this worm, man. Again, I be fishing the Cinco's. I've been Texas rigging them. I was wacky rigging them at first. Wacky rigging was working, but I wasn't. it wasn't as consistent as I liked. So I started, uh, like I said, I started Texas rigging, and that's been really great. Now, I hadn't done, oh, I did an IRL channel in the Discord, yeah. If you want to show off your fish. Uh, not an IRL channel yet for, you know, the streaming. 
right, Evil. Hey, have a good one, man. See you on the next stream, man. Take it easy. Uh, all right. So since it's muddy, throw your line with darker colors, black, blue. Okay. Uh, black, blue, black, and red, and black. All right, all right. Cause they, I do have some dark, some blue, and uh, black and blue cincos. So I'm gonna try those out. I also got a chatterbait. I hang. Ah, there we go. There we go. The worms is hitting. I got a chatterbait. Um, but I haven't been able to hit anything with it. It's like a little bud looking one. They'd be making noise, you know, with the little silver uh tail on it. There we go. Got us another large mouth. They hitting now, guys. Um, and then I got this clear with a clear uh whopper plopper work because it'll take on the look of the water. Or is it still just considered like a lighter bait? I was wondering about it. It's clear as black on the top. Again, I ain't been able to get nothing to hit. I'm practicing trying to get my technique down with it. Toby said, you heading to St. Croix. What lures work for musky? Uh, what lures work for musky? Um, the lures that work for musky are like, oh. I know a few. Hold on, hold on. I can tell you. Spoons. Spoons work. Or like casting spoons, I mainly use minnows. But what lures? Okay, jerk baits. Wolf said jerk baits work. I had to think about it. Walkers, yeah, yeah. Walkers is the other one I've had a lot of success with as well. Crank baits are good for muskies. Okay, I know they work for pike, so yeah, they they gotta work for muskies too. Uh, let's see. Wolf say you heading back? Just got your coffee. Okay, Wolf, nice. Uh, here in St. Croix, uh, you said there's a revolutionary pack that has lures you need for the 4th of July events, basically about seven. Okay. I might do that, man. I'm I'm just debating on if I want to uh, really mess with the 4th of July or not. Uh, what color chatter? It's black and yellow. It's black with like a little yellow spot on it. I got another one, but I can't remember the color. Uh, let's see, you're going to start playing Fish Plan on PC so you can have the real experience. Yeah, sleep. Hey, definitely do that. Uh, basically, the fish are going to be hitting on a vibration in darker water, if that makes sense. Okay, so I would need a lighter one when it's a little clearer. My Senkos that I have been hitting a lot with, my my worms have been the uh, watermelon, the pumpkin, and uh, now it's getting darker. Yeah, I need to, I'm going to try those dark ones. I've tried it out today, but a storm was hitting, so I wasn't really able to sit out there long. Ah, right, there we go. We're getting a hit. There we go. The worms is hitting. The worms is hitting. Come back here. Come back here. What's up, Carter? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, uh, this little bugger fighting. Uh, Toby say, what size should you use? Where'd you say you were heading again, Toby? Oh, uh, you were heading to St. Croix. Maybe six aught. Four, six, you, I think you can even get away with eight, but I think around six is good. Uh, what's my IRL channel name? Because you didn't get painted about it. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I, I made a, just a discord feed, a discord channel. I hadn't done an IRL channel yet, uh, on YouTube, but I let y'all know that's something I'm working on. I want to, you know, get it together. I'm going to get me, like I said, something so I can put it on my chest. For like a GoPro or, or my camera or something, um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still and that, and kind of my journey as I get better, I try to get good at anything that you know I really do really get into like that. So as I'm really really trying to get my techniques down with lures and spinning and getting the bait cast and the things of that nature, man, I want y'all to see that. Oh, this one fighting a bit. Come on. Say four gigs. I think my sound done went out. Every now and then my sound will stop conking. So I'm not hearing anything. Oh, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. We good. There it is. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, this one fighting. This one fighting. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a decent size. 
Here we go. Is it a trophy? Nice. We got a trophy large mouth. 4.6. That's a pretty big one. Uh, some bubblegum 10 inch worms. Uh, the Texas rig. You should hammer them on a good day. Okay, bubblegum 10 inch worms. All right, let me remember that. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta make note of that. I'm gonna go pick some of them up right at that mile. Do they got the bubblegum joints at like Walmart or would I have to go to a, uh, we got like a Bass Pro around here. We also have a, a Academy. I don't know if Academy is everywhere. I'm not sure where you located. But Academy has been another good one. They got a real good selection. So I'm sure they probably have it. Uh, Should have chose the Everglades. You know what? We'll do that. I wanted to start at NC just because I'm here. So this like the home map, man. Just like the home map. Quanchkin, uh, Toby said, shout out to Toby, man. He said the striped bass. I believe it was the striped bass. Correct me if I'm wrong, Toby. But you said the striped are, are worth more pound for pound than the gar at Quanchkin. What we'll do, we'll leave here and hit the Everglades. I wanted to do a trip to a, a few lakes. I'll probably just do a couple. But again, I had to start here. Just repping home, man. You got to rep your, rep your city, rep your state, man. So I had to do that. Had to do that. Okay, they at Walmart. All right, cool, cool. Ah, oh, they hitting. The worm is hitting. The worm is hitting. Nice. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, I'm gonna grab those. Now look, let me ask you, uh, GB <laughs> or a GBK. Do you use a lot of the same things in tournaments, or do you got like special stuff or special ways you gotta fish when you in a tournament, or is it all about the spot? And I, I know you can't give all your secrets, but just generally speaking, you know what I mean. Are you on the boat, and do you get out there on the boat? Or any of these tournaments from the bank? I'm assuming all, most tournaments are always from a boat. But, um, you know, is it more about location? Can you use the same stuff you use in generally when you're in the tournament? You know what I mean? Or, or is it just, like I say, special things that you got to pull out? Uh, sleep, nothing like playing Lone Star level one. Oh, we fighting. Let's see. You think the Zeus... The Zeus is right ride for musky. It depend on what weight it is. Because I was using my, uh, whatever that 50 pound one is, I was killing musky with that. But even if it's 30, 30, 40, you should be good. I think the 